everyone, I'm Wahini and welcome to Fantastic Class YouTube channel. In this video, I would like to tell you a short story with title The King and the Fisherman. So, please enjoy the video. Once upon a time, there was a king who never ate a meal unless there was a dish of fish with it. One day, there was a big storm and the fishermen were not able to go out to catch the fish. So the king had no breakfast and no lunch. The king was desperate. Let it be announced by beat of drum that fisherman who bring me fish, I will give him reward or anything that he asks for. Said the king to his servant. He ordered his servant to tell everybody in his capital if anyone brought a fish for the king. The king will give him reward or anything that he asked for. At last, the fisherman who was fishing from the shore with hook and line caught a big fish and hurried to the king's castle with it. But the king's prime minister met him on his arrival. <coughs> what are you doing here? Said the prime minister. Good day, your highness. I come here to bring a fish. Can I go in? Suddenly, the prime minister had to play. Oh, I will let you go in, but you have to give me a half of whatever the king gives to you for your fish. In silence, the fisherman just nodded his head. And in the king's castle, the prime minister announced to the king about the arrival of the fisherman with the fish. The king was very happy when he saw the fish. And after his cooks had cooked it and he had eaten it, he said to the fisherman, Now, what do you want for your fish? With all due respect, I want you to beat me to dozen time with a rod. The king was very surprised and argued with the fisherman, but in the end he said, I, I promise faithfully to give you whatever you wanted, and I suppose that I must keep my promise. So he started to hit the fisherman softly with the rod. But the fisherman asked the king to hit him as hard as he can. And after the king had hit a dozen times, the fisherman jumped away and said, your, your Highness, there is enough for me. I promise the other dozen to your Prime Minister. Again, the king was very surprised. And the Prime Minister had to admit that the fisherman was right. The king not only gave him the other dozen with the rod, but also said, because you have been dishonest, you will not be my prime minister anymore. The fisherman will take your place. Finally, the fisherman took the prime minister position and the king's castle is more prosperous than before. So, that is the end of the story. So guys, from this story, we can learn that the king's prime minister is so greedy and that he get bad results. And from the fisherman, we can learn that wise thinking can help you get out from your bad situation. So please be wise and always do good things. Thank you so much for watching and have a nice day.